Good morning. This is the, I was going to give you an update yesterday, but unfortunately the county didn't have their numbers out. So I wanted to give you an update this morning and catch you up to where we are. First, I'd just like to talk to you as the mayor for a minute. I know COVID has been difficult. Uh, it's even made worse by the oil drop in oil prices. But there's one thing I know about West Texans, uh, especially Odessans. They're tough, they're independent, and they get through crisis by helping each other and taking care of each other. This crisis has only been made worse because it's a political season. And one party's spinning it, saying that the other one's doing it, and, you know, all of that. If you're having trouble uh, emotionally getting through this, depression is something I deal with. And it's tough. But one thing, try to do, stop watching all the political stuff. Stop watching the national news when they um, really just seem to beat you down. Watch Barney, I mean, watch um, the Andy Griffith Show. Watch something that makes you laugh. Uh, I even watched the other, last week with my granddaughter, Tom and Jerry, and we watched some of the Bugs Bunny stuff, and I haven't watched that stuff in years. I found myself laughing and enjoying it, but this is a time for Odessa to come together. We will get through this. It's going to have its, its good times. It's going to have its bad times because I think this is going to be here through the fall. Um, we will get through it. Uh, we will get through it by loving each other, praying for each other, taking care of each other when we can, um, just being West Texans. Uh, we are a fiercely independent group. We are very hard-headed, but we care for each other. And that's one of the things, you know, I was born here and I'm going to die here. I love about Odessa is the people. Uh, we don't have a lot in scenery, but we do when it comes to caring for each other. So take your time, call your neighbor, call a friend maybe you haven't talked to in a while. Tell them you're thinking about them. Tell them you're praying about them. And just show people you care right now, you know, because unfortunately everybody's wound tight. And honestly, that part's not going to get any better until after the election. So we're doing well. I'm very proud of all of our citizens. I don't always agree with them. Some people you can agree with, some people you can't. But we're still citizens of the same city. We care about each other, and we're going to be here after COVID virus and after uh, everything with oil. So God bless each one of you. We'll go through uh, the numbers a little bit. Um, Amarillo is at 4419. Um, Lubbock has now become the number one city in the pick six uh, with 4482 uh, confirmed cases. Abilene is at 1532. San Angelo is at 1497. Our sister city, Midland, is at 1522. Uh, they are seeing a slight uptick in their numbers over there. Um, good news here in Odessa, we are starting to see the numbers slow down. Um, one thing we do want to watch, uh, we are still waiting for the numbers to come in from July 4th. Uh, it's been about two weeks. We should hopefully by the end of the week be past those times. So, so far it's looking good. Uh, so last time I, we spoke, uh, we were at 2305. Now we are at 2403. So about 98 cases have been picked up. Uh, but you remember a couple of weeks ago, we were seeing two, 300 uh, every time I talked to you. So we're seeing things slow down a little bit. We hope that continues, um, but we will keep watching that. Unfortunately, I do have some bad news. Uh, we did have six people pass away this last weekend. Uh, one was at uh, ORMC and we had five pass away at medical center. I don't know the specific details, uh, but I would just tell you, we've had a lot of people in there uh, from the nursing homes. So probably that's what, um, probably what these deaths were, but we will find it out in the coming days. I'm sure the media will uh, dig into that and kind of see what's going on. Um, recovered, uh, last time we talked, we were at 1225. Now we're at 1342 uh, as far as recovered. Yesterday, the hospitals, um, medical center had 36. So we're seeing their numbers start to slow down a little bit. 
They were also going to discharge five uh, yesterday. Unfortunately, they do have five uh, with uh, ventilators. And a little bit of a scary thing is they have two COVID cases in labor and delivery. Um, the mamas are sick. Uh, they're still not sure how the virus passes if it goes through the placenta or if it's just a strictly a respira uh, respira uh, respiratory virus. So they're kind of determining that still. It's still a little new. Uh, many of these doctors, it's their first case they've dealt with uh, with COVID. Over at ORMC, ORMC, they have 16 in the um, hospital. They have nine on ventilators and uh, they have seven tests which are pending. That's also a good number. We're seeing the pending cases go down dramatically. Um, last couple of weeks, we saw the fact that they may have 400 tests waiting. Medical Center even got up uh, close to 600. But now we're seeing those test numbers go down. What happened, CPL has opened back up and can get the test out quickly. Uh, we've also had CVS here in Odessa, just the one on 42nd is doing the test that they send off. Um, so it's not the rapid test, but they're able to get those back four to five days, which is fantastic. Um, talk a little bit about the nursing homes. Um, in the hospital right now, there are five from Siena Nursing Home um, and that's all we had, what they said yesterday, that's all the ones that are in the hospital. We are getting more cases from around, uh, around us. We've talked about that. Um, Medical Center and ORMC receive people from outside our, our uh, county. Well, right now we have two from Fort Stockton. Uh, we have four from Andrews, one from Stanton, and one from Reeves County. So those are patients they couldn't handle in their smaller hospitals and have brought them in here. They also talked about two hotspots uh, starting to look like they're going to be hotspots here uh, for a short amount of time. Those are Andrews. Uh, we're seeing a lot of numbers go up in Andrews, so we want to keep them in our thoughts and prayers. Also, Fort Stockton. Um, you know, Fort Stockton experienced a ton of growth. Somebody called me. Uh, during this last um, tick in oil. Uh, so we are starting to see quite a few from Fort Stockton. Also, Alpine has been a hot spot. Uh, haven't heard the latest down there, but we do need to keep them in our thoughts and prayers. Um, the test, we are where the city is doing the free test. We have not got the res all the results from last week, but I will give those to you when I get them. Uh, we're wanting to make sure we get all the tests back and then release the numbers, as opposed to the first time we had a few hiccups when we released only partial. So um, I really want to commend Chief Huber, Chief White, um, UTBV, Texas Tech. They have done a fantastic job with these tests. Many times uh, we only get 200 tests from the lab and they are doing an amazing job of getting people in safely, testing them and letting them get out. We are doing that through um, they sit in their car, they go up, they swab your nose, they get all the information from you and they send you on your way. So there's no chance of um, somebody catching COVID when they go to the test. Um, but our fire department, um, they are doing an amazing job to be able to handle that, get people in and out in a couple of hours so you're not sitting there in the afternoon heat that we all love and dealing with that. So I am so proud of the fire department um, police departments do an amazing job. Very proud um, of everything they're doing and how well they are doing it. We will have, we still have four more test sessions um, coming up. They're free. Uh, it'll be the first 200, so you have to get there early sometimes. But you can uh, go on the city Facebook. It will tell you when they're going to be, where they're going to be. There's been some changes as far as um, making sure they have enough space for people to park their cars and not to block traffic. So there's been some adjustments, but the things are going very well and they're free to you. So uh, please use them. Um, also want to talk um, a little bit about the Rio Grande Valley down south. Um, I'm always trying to watch and see what the governor's doing just to find out what's on his mind. But um, they have alerted five Navy rapid response teams 
to go down into the Rio Grande Valley. Um, McAllen, in some of that area, they're really having some trouble uh, with the numbers that are going on down there. So we want to keep them in our thoughts and prayers, but the Navy has sent in five of the rapid response teams to help them get that under control. Um, so that's really all I've got today, but I just wanted to encourage everybody just to, we're going to get through this. Um, you know, we went through August 31st. We've been through things before. We're going to make it through this. Don't let all the naysayers get you down. Um, you know, watch something that makes you laugh. God bless, God bless each and every one of you. God bless Odessa. God bless Texas. And God bless USA. Thank you and be safe.